Hey everyone, I'm Ultimate 456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 20 of Let's Platinum Demon Souls Remake. Alright, let's head into <clears throat> let's head into this stage again and see how far we can get. Hopefully we can get to the end. Uh, if not, uh, we'll just continue next time. Because it is a little difficult this stage. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, Alright, we'll wait for this guy. We definitely want to accumulate as many souls as we can this time around. Pow. Oh, uh, baby. I have no idea how that hit, but okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty lenient once it gets up to a certain point. Alright, so we're going to keep doing the same same trick. Part of me wants to try the, the rune shield against this reaper's first attack to see how much it will block. Because it should be able to block quite a lot, but rolling is pretty simple. So, two, three. One, two. Roll. Oh, ah, uh, <laughs> wombo combo, damn. Yeah, that is one kind of downside. Is the 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 like summon shades or whatever they're called um, attack so slowly that I like avoided the attack with all the time in the world, and then when I rolled back to try and um, uh, to try and prepare to hit the Reaper again. He was ready with another combo. The Shade hit me from the first attack. And then, yeah. And then uh, he finished me off with the magic. How much does this protect? Magic damage, 50. Hmm. Okay. Let's go here. Try again. Great thing is you can try again really quick. There. Roll. Heap. He seems to always do the same. What? What? Whoa. I thought that I would be able to collect my souls um, without, or well, even if I was attacking or something. One, two, three. Roll. Oh man, that was close. Alright, cool. Let's go down. Alright, so now the stage gets pretty difficult. Um, I'm going to do my best to just get through this. Like, I tried to come up with something um, for this, but I'm going to probably be testing a few things here because, yeah, it's just, there's nothing really you can kind of do. I mean, well, not nothing. I'm sure there's something that I couldn't figure anything out. Uh, Alright, so there's, yeah, he's firing oop, one of those. He's a bit too far away. I wonder if I can get, let's see. And try this. Climb up. Okay. So sometimes that happens and he comes up. If that's the case, just try and position yourself correctly. Alright, we got it. Nice. Careful, careful, careful. I'm gonna go for that second one because the, the one firing the bow and arrow can I get him up as well? Hey! Alright, so I guess if you hang to the right of that uh, little cliff thing there, he should be able to come up. When you're avoiding his attacks um, and, you're, and you've got him targeted, walk back so that you can avoid his swing and then walk uh, forward to prevent him from um, like rolling towards you. Oh, that was on the wrong thing. One, two, three, four. Alright, good. Now we'll try and deal with some of these manta ray things. Take that. Damn. It sucks. And attacking them when they're doing that attack is not, like, doesn't always work either, as you can see there. That was actually a direct hit, but I think he was just too far away. This one looks close enough. Ah! Come on, die. Maybe? Nope. Too far away. All right, let's get a little bit closer. We're also low on low on health. These guys, you can kind of defeat them with a soul ray. Yeah, 120 damage is pretty good. I'm gonna try and coax them up here. Let's go really quick. Um, let me see. So I want to use one of these. Might actually have to use a spice here. Just don't have enough regen at the moment. Ok, 
Okay, so there he is. Now he can... Oh, yeah. He can hit you from there, as you can see. Halfman Grass. Chop. This is probably the hardest bit of the stage, actually. Just getting past here. Alright, nice. I don't know how I separated them, but I'll take it. These guys look so cool. Even in the, uh, even in the, um, especially in the, uh, in the, what's it called, like the intro cutscene. I mean, they looked fairly decent on the PS3, but now they look really cool. What if I can cloak myself and pre prevent them from firing at me? This one might be doable. Come on, this time. Yeah, there we go. That one could be doable as well, actually. What the hell, man? I'm cloaked. How can you see me? <laughs> I don't understand. I wonder if Cloak and the Thief Ring have different degrees of strength. You know, the fresh spice. I wanted to get that one, but I don't think I'm going to get there. Until ah! Holy crap, that was so close. Uh, he's probably moving too fast. Yeah, he's moving too fast. Alright, I think I'm probably just going to leave this area now. Maybe I'm going to try once on this guy. Now. There we go. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. As you can see, we have another 24,000 souls. Alright, now this part. This part, honestly, it, this seems like a dumb idea. But just do this. Um, it works almost every time. So run here, go a little bit further, stop, go back. Um, yeah, I tried, that was basically the attack I was trying to avoid, but no. Um, let's do that again. So Crescent Moongrass, good. Now I'm going to go down here. Now I'm actually just going to go around this guy and you can kind of do that. It's a little tricky, but you can, you can go around him without falling. Now you want to run straight down. This is tricky. You want to try and roll. Okay, I got it. And then run here and just do a, um, a running R R1. So run and then just like let that spin hit the hit the enemy. Because now what happens is every single one dies. You get 6,000 souls and you're free to roam the area. Um, rather than spending ages trying to take out this guy and the other guy that, that was uh, at the top. I'm just going to run back up to the top because I believe there's one or two items that I missed. Uh, so there's one here which is Moonshade Stone Shard, and there's one here, just near the entrance. Full Moon Grass times five. All right, cool. So now that we've done that, we can continue. Um, yeah, if you basically, so just sprint and then press R1 and you can do like a, that spin. And it'll, um, it'll knock that guy down. He falls uh, far enough to where he takes um, uh, enough fall damage. And then yeah, you're good. What the? What was that? How? Wait, what? Is this a small one? I don't think I've ever seen this guy before. I'm going to let him come closer. Because when he dies, I'm, I'm going to hope that he drops something perhaps unique. I don't know. I don't remember seeing this guy before. Okay, nothing. But there's a lot of souls. Hmm, I don't remember that one. Okay, run down here. We're actually already fairly close to the boss. Just got one little section to do, but we'll see how it goes. All right, Crescent Moongrass times two. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Please, 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 please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm just going to go out here. So I know it's safe, relatively. All right, let's try that again. Ah. Man, these little guys do way more damage than I expected. They, they seem to be a bit faster, yeah, they're a bit faster than their adult counterparts. Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Let's cloak ourselves. I'll try and see if there's an enemy that we can, or a manta ray that we can kill from here. I don't believe there is. And I think there's, no, I was going to say, I think there's one more gold skeleton, but no, it doesn't look like it. Ah. Oh. That one might be doable. Let's wait. Uh, so it's going to go over there. Any others? 
Well, this one's kind of headed our way. Yeah, that, that's possible, I think. Ah, maybe not. If I had gone a little earlier, I might have been able to get him. Uh, nah, that one's seeming less likely. Oh, okay. Well, he can see me. Let's try one more time with this one, then we'll continue. Come on... Hmm? Weren't you flying directly? Oh god. Okay, run. Late moon grass. Alright, we're good, we're good. Let's just skip it. <laughs> Alright, so in we go. Ah, okay. Almost there. Now this one we do have to kill. Um, he's kind of in the way, and uh, yeah. Okay, now I just have to remember what I gotta do here. Uh, we're gonna go cloak. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna run straight down. Void this guy, void that reaper. Now that reaper will probably try and fire one of those magic bolts at you. But because of cloak, I think he has a harder time seeing you. And now you can try and go back up and try and take him out so one two three the only danger is the uh is the other guy to the left here so just oh my god <laughs> and that's what sucks that's what sucks one shot um maybe i probably should have used ring of magical dullness there that's probably what i should have done yep to um increase my magic defense all right, so now the test is how do we get back there um, quickly? Well, quickly is a matter of relativity, I guess. <laughs> uh, maybe safely is the way to go, but we'll see what we can do. The first thing you can do is you can immediately skip this area entirely, but I'm not going to do that because it's got and it gives good souls. Yeah, I could die. I probably should have used um, Ring of Magical Dullness. Roll. One, two, three, four. The more times you fight this Reaper, the more times you... Okay, so there's an example of nothing that makes sense. How did that one not kill me? Okay. <laughs> wow. I That is super unlucky. Super, super unlucky. Oh, well. We lost a lot of souls, but it's how it goes. Yeah. It's, uh... I don't know. It's not really much I can say about that. That was just really, really, really unlucky. I could have put the Ring of Magical Dullness on, but at the same time, like, I need the Ring of Avarice and I need the Cling Ring, like, without without fail. Um, yeah, which pretty much would have made the Ring of Magical Dullness on the other one worthless either as well. Yeah, he just, I don't know, I just don't have enough magic defense. He always starts with the, well, almost always starts with that, and then generally won't use it again, but I think I was probably too far away. I think I ran too far away from him, that's probably what caused it. Alright, there we go. Oh well, it happens. And very quickly I'm already back up to like 11,000, so not too bad. Now getting past these guys is pretty tough, so I'd, I'd honestly recommend just, just fight them. I'm going to use one of these. Now I'm like very camouflaged. <laughs> oh, thought it was. <laughs> How? How did I avoid that? You can also pay attention to the sound that the, um, the manta rays make, usually they make a specific sound when they're going to throw the, the green shard thing at you. Come on, up you come. I knew I wasn't going to make it out of this level without dying, but uh... Oh well. Oh! Oh, please! No! Lord, help me! <laughs> this level sucks, man! <laughs> I, 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 this is what happened in my practice, I just kept dying. And yeah, there's just no nothing you can really do about it. You just have to practice and try. I mean, yes, there's obviously going to be 
some way to do it safely, but I couldn't figure it out. So, if you can, post in the comments. Oh my god, too early. How? How did that time it work? <laughs> Nothing makes sense, man. I don't understand why the other Reaper did more damage. Like, I get, okay, yeah, maybe it's further in the stage, so maybe it's stronger, maybe it's tuned higher, but like, the effort that you go to. <laughs> the effort, hey, make this one stronger, Bill. Why? It's further in the stage. But it's already hard enough. No, make it stronger. I want it to one-shot magic builds. They're too powerful. Oh my god. And then this one is like, <laughs> what? And now how do I avoid this? The whole reason I even used the grass last time, perfect um, example, was because I did not think he was going to throw another, like, freeze a death beam or something. Please die! Alright, good. Oh, did I forget to... Oh, we got a war scythe, that's cool. Did I forget to kill... Yeah, I think I forgot to kill the... Um, wow, the last grass there. Uh, let's use the new one, full moon. I think I forgot to kill the Manta Ray. No, no I did. So why did I have... Oh, I get it, yeah, yeah, because I lost some. Um, okay, instead of cloaking, let's get this going. Now, it is possible to have these guys, like, fall off the edge. Um, doesn't always happen. But if you can get it to happen, fantastic. Roll. Uh, what? Oh, I think the other one fell. I can't tell what happened to him, but I'm assuming he fell. One, two, three, four. Alright, now how are we going to avoid this? Um, I'll try this. I'll try Cloak. And I'll try getting past the skeletons like this. Like, I, I, want, I want to fight them for their souls, but at the same time, if you can get past, then it's pretty worthwhile. Alright, so 25,000, we're back up to where we were. Let's try this again. So go here, stop, turn, no, not close enough, oh, cloak, yeah, cloak, I wonder if he'll still use the same attack, no, he used a different attack, okay, that's good, maybe I can cloak my way through this one, he's gonna see me now, oh, now, even if you get hit by that, it's not a one shot, okay, there's a perfect example of what you're supposed to do, and now, honestly, just run, <laughs> Maybe wait a little bit longer than I did, then run. <laughs> Screw that. Alright, well, at least by the end of the episode, we might be able to get to the... the entrance to the boss. Ow! I hate how direct that attack is. It's like, the level is designed in, like, sort of straight corridors, so you, you're forced to run... straight. You're forced to go to the Prometheus school of running away from things. <laughs> um, Alright, so how am I going to do this? Now, you can't wait too long here, because if you do, the, the other thing will spawn again. Okay, you can also do this. You can also, like, just try turning and attacking him straight away, so... And this time it didn't one-shot me. One, two, three. I can't even see what's going on. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, there's just nothing you can really do about that. I mean, you could skip it if you want, but then you're losing out on a, a few souls there. I realize I'm losing out on more souls by <clears throat> by trying to do it, but yeah. Oh well, good luck. <laughs> now, I'm sure someone will come up with something in the comments, but I just can't, yeah. I, I just don't... I don't know. I don't know what else I could possibly do to, to get through this ridiculous stage. Ah, oh, man. Like, I don't mind doing it over again. It, it's, it's, it is annoying to keep trying it, but... I don't know. I, I just couldn't come up with anything. This is why I tried to even give myself, like, an extra week to... to practice and all that, but it was just like... What am I gonna do? I have no idea. I know I can make it past, I just can't make it past consistently. And you can't just, you know, run past it. You have to kill it, right? You have to. No, 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 you have to. You have to. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try again. Well, we don't have much time left. Uh, do I really want to try... You know what? Super risky strat, let's just do it. I'm probably going to die, but let's try it. God, that was terrible. 
Oh, I am so dead. <laughs> I couldn't even get past. Okay, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Alright, so that was a worthless waste of time. Um, I don't even know. Was there anything that happened in this episode that was actually worthwhile? I have no idea. You know what, I can't really do anything about it, so I'm just going to leave it as an episode because that's just how it goes. And then next time, regardless of what happens, I'll make sure that I get past. Um, so yeah, I know this one was probably a crappy episode. I'm sorry. Um, but I just don't know how to get past without dying. Like it's, it's kind of just a matter of luck in this, in this particular instance, um, as far as I can tell. So yeah, sorry. <sighs> I want to thank you all for watching episode 20 of Les Platinum Demon Souls Remake. My name is Ultima456. You're the ultimates and I'll see you next time.